charge. And here is what it entails. Rwanda aims to achieve universal access to water by 2024. Lack of funds, however, has been an impediment to achieving that target. Now, good news is the country has secured an additional 115 million euro loan from the Africa Development Bank to upgrade water networks and build new ones in satellite cities. It is a project uh, aimed to increase access to portable water uh, countrywide. We have uh, signed last year the uh, phase one of this loan, uh, which basically was uh, targeting urban areas to increase, uh, to upgrade, rehabilitate the existing network and to make extensions as well as uh, uh, transmission pipes. For the infrastructure from our various uh, big plants, we are just completing uh, Recently, like Kenzove, where we have uh, now the production up to 100 cubic meter a day, so we need the flooding infrastructure and the distribution network. So this project basically uh, focusing on uh, a network in the city of Okegari, as well as secondary cities. Six of them, we are having also different projects in the network and the water production in different water treatment plants as well. While water supply in urban areas stands at over 85 percent, the rate is at only 47 percent in rural areas, which explains why focus is going to be put in such areas in the second phase of the project. In this particular financing, we're saying, look, uh, the government's agenda is to make sure that uh, uh, water and the sanitation is provided to everyone. Uh, rural as well as uh, urban areas and therefore this particular financing will go towards peri-urban as well as uh, rural areas. So it makes us very happy uh, because then we are saying we are making this particular support inclusive so that everybody can benefit. We, we are focusing mostly in the rural areas. The first one was in the urban areas but uh, the second one in the, is in the more in rural areas where, as I mentioned, starting by eastern province, we have uh, several water treatment plants to be constructed as well as their flooding infrastructure. So in the northern province, you have uh, new networks as well. Western province, you have uh, new uh, water treatment plants and uh, their flooding infrastructure. Even in the uh, uh, southern province, we are having other two more water treatment plants with the affording infrastructure to cover especially those areas uh, with the water scarce in the, in the Amayaga side. Yeah. All right. So it, like you said, it's, uh, it's the second phase and the first one was signed uh, last year. Now, how effectively is the money you got previously being used? Well, uh, we just ha we, we just started a kind of uh, work on on ground. About uh, three contracts for construction ha have started. We are just uh, at the uh, at the commencement phase, uh, and uh, internally in Wasak we have uh, quite improved in uh, capacity building and uh, internal organizations. We have. Uh, put up uh, SPIU, this is Single Project Implementation Unit, to cater for this project. So mainly with the, its coordinator and uh, new engineers working on these uh, different projects. So the organization is really ready to, to take up this project even for the, the, the second phase of this finance, I mean this storm. Yeah. Now the government uh, targets to achieve universal access to water in the country by 2024 under the National Strategy for Transformation uh, from 80-something currently. Now, how big a boost is this particular uh, funding and how uh, confident are you that you are going to achieve that? We, we are still confident to achieve the 100% as the... the, 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 the it was mentioned 
this part one and the part two will uh, increase uh, access to clean water for 2.6 million Rwandis in the country. So meaning, once I, I, I go into details, uh, you will see that we, we remain only for the small part of the population. Once you have this treatment plant, this is the main production, then we, 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 we work on distribution part, distribution network to reach as many as we can. But uh, we were still uh, confident to reach the 100% by 2024. As they mentioned, this is not only money from FDB uh, coming in the sector. We have uh, different uh, stakeholders and uh, partners in the sector which bring, who bring uh, more funds in the sector. And uh, uh, from the gap we are just having currently, we, we hope to, to bridge the gap by 2024. Before I let you go, uh, talk to us about uh, the maintenance or the sustainability of water infrastructure, both the ones you are going to upgrade and the new ones that are going to be created. Uh, well, uh, on a sustainability side, for the, in the urban areas where Wasaka as a company is covering, we have a, a department is the Abani Water and Sanitation Department. This one is working on uh, regular maintenance of uh, water infrastructure, water and sanitation infrastructure, and uh, we, we, we have enough staff to make these operations. And uh, in uh, rural areas where we have uh, private operators, now in the rural areas we have a private operators managing those different systems and uh, once currently the policy once we finish a new water supply system we have also a new private operator taking over the the, the new system to to manage and we we are make we are put we are supporting uh, technically to the district to make sure to ensure that uh, those systems in rural areas are